Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Let's keep it going. You guys have given me some very positive feedback in the comment section and with the thumbs up and with subscribing to the channel. You guys like the uh, overpowered spotting uh, positions and the good initial spotting positions on different maps. So why don't we look at this map, Siegfried Line, and let's watch another light tank. It's driven by EXS from the GHS clan. Shout out to you guys, this little Charmelee 75. This is another map where you can have some monster spotting games, guys. And uh, on this, in this particular battle, there's an EVR on both sides. And he goes to the, I think, the best bush on the map. Especially if it's an encounter game. But he goes to the best bush on the map. And this idiot in the T-54 lightweight is in his way and he's going to shoot his gun. You utter muppet in the T-54 lightweight is going to shoot his gun to ruin my video. Now that is the uh, epitome of an absolutely useless light tank player who probably is upset that this guy took this bush and he shot his gun trying to get the enemies to shoot back and accidentally hit this guy. This guy is, uh, we're not doing a biggest asshole episode, but we might as well. This guy's gone to this bush. There's a bush here and there's a bush on the opposite side. Let me show you right here. Look at the map right there. You see my, um, I'm, you see it there on the screen? That one right there. That's the counter bush to this one. It's a group of bushes, but uh, it's modeled in Wargaming. Even though there's little, there's little gaps here in, in the bushes, it's modeled kind of as a rectangle in Wargaming bush modeling uh, technique. And uh, this is a fantastic bush because you get to spot everyone who comes up here that's heading towards the castle or the, the, the area there where the buildings are. So coming up this way. And if you were on the other side of the map, you'd be able to spot everyone that's coming up this way. Now in this particular game, he didn't get a lot of value out of it. He got to 1,256 spotting assists so far. But in some games, uh, if there's a lot of medium tanks, now is there a lot? There are a lot of medium tanks in this game. But in, in some games, a lot of medium tanks go right here. Look at the screen. Uh, that bush right there, you, you see the, can you see the, yeah, you can. Uh, that bush right there and a counterpart bush is like the, this one up here. Uh, tanks tend to go there to try and spot or to shoot. Sometimes three or four medium tanks go there. And this position will spot all of them. And if you have backup like this guy has, like a leopard, there's the leopard. Uh, and people even sitting further back over here or even sitting uh, in here can just pound those guys or artillery. Okay. Now, so he's at 1200 spot. Oh, there he goes. See, he spotted the Skoda. And shoot the Skoda. And there you go. That's a medium tank that's gone to that position there. Is he going to shoot? He's gonna, come on. Oh, leopard. Yes. There you go. And he's up over 2000 spotting assists. This position neutralizes that bush right there. And uh, he did not spot the Fosh. Fosh is too far away. But he spotted the Shar, who made a mistake. Now he's doing something very smart here. He's gone to this bush, but he's being very patient. You got to know when to move up and when not to move up. Now he puts it in turbo and he moves up. Because they killed the Shar that could have counter-spotted him. And now he moves to position number two. Watch position number two, guys. He uses his turbo. He hopes he doesn't get spotted by the Skoda. And he moves to this position here, which this guy, the dead, uh, this dead wheeled vehicle went to too quickly and got counter spotted. Okay, so you can spot the field side. The best place to spot on this map is like a one, two, three, four, five line. And then the other side of the map is there's buildings. But if you rush to this, everyone wants to rush to this position right here. And that position right there, the counter, if you're coming from the other way, you rush to this bush right here. But if you rush to it right away, if this is the first spot you go, you end up a lot of the times dead like the CBR. Because when you go to that bush, you will get spotted on your way by anyone that goes to this little bush or to these pillboxes. So what this guy did is absolutely primo. He went to the first bush, this pile right here. And then when the enemies were dead, he progressed to this bush. And now he's going to be patient. And what he has to do now is hope that someone takes out this Skoda T-50. Then he will have free reign. And I think he's going to try and do it on his, on his own. Let's see. The Skoda T-50 is right around there. He's got his barrel pointed that way. He's going to pull around carefully. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, and they got him. He, the, the, 
triple tap and now he triple taps the artillery boom 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 let's go back to your room and now now guys he's gonna wait till he goes stealth and now he's got free reign to, to go even further now he's gonna do the wraparound right he's he's got these guys detected but that's not enough now watch he's gonna take the safe way and do the uh this is the big flanking maneuver which complete oh he got spotted so he hides behind the pillbox he took a hit but he's got to hide behind the pillbox okay and meanwhile his team's shooting you notice he's got good support he's got a leopard a charfeteur and a t-54 lightweight behind him that are doing the shooting beautiful teamwork oh and he bounced a shot up from the m103 because wargaming said screw you m103 and he's using the topography and he spotted the other artillery and he points at the other artillery and he says please kill the other artillery and he takes it out of super mode or whatever so that he can get his three shots and uh, oh yeah so he did uh on this map the perfect flanking maneuver which now enables his team to encircle them even though they're losing by uh they were losing by a couple thousand hp because they were losing in the city now they're surrounded the enemies don't know and they're and they're lit right he's gonna poke these bushes here now try and keep the type 61 oh and this guy spotted the fosh he gets some spotting assist there someone please shoot the fosh yes someone has it's not a fosh it's uh yeah it's a fosh 155 he's getting spotting assist on the fosh he's getting spotting assist on the amx he's just poking this ridge line now there's a bush he spotted that guy he could go into this bush right there, but he got detected, right? He could go into this bush right here, but he got detected. He's going to try and go into it. Now. He doesn't, the, the enemies are too close. They're panicking. That uh, TVP 5051 moves up there, and now he can get some beautiful flanking shots. But this tank is not very accurate, so he's not going to bother. Now the enemies are... They've turned their guns to face these guys in the field. So his teammates in the city are going to have an easier time the guys in the city are going to have an easier time winning now because some of these enemies are now dealing with the threat in the field okay so this can work both ways uh, but you need uh, i should say you need to have backup you need to have uh, some some good players that are going to shoot and he, look at he's got backup there right he's got a leopard t54 lightweight and the char and shout out to the t54 lightweight that has relegated the spotting now first he, he kind of started the game like an ass but now he's relegated he said okay you do the spotting uh, i'll do the shooting rather than just compete with this guy and get in the way right so he, he redeemed himself the leopard is providing good um, a backup and now he's going to continue he's got the fosh from behind but it doesn't even bother because his teammates are shooting and now it's just mop up time and this was a flawlessly executed uh, amazing spotting game which you can do from either side uh, it's kind of symmetrical map there's a uh, the same bush if you spawn on the south side it just goes the other way around you know the bush it's the uh, it's a mirror image of each other uh, across this uh, road here so look at that how long did that take not very long how much spotting did he do? Did he get some blind damage? Let's check the post-game stats. He finishes on top, of course. He did a little damage himself, and he ends up with 10,175 spotting assists. It makes a shit ton of credits. You make a lot of credits when you do some spotting if you don't shoot your gun very much. All right, let's watch Strong Spartan from the LDPT clan. Shout out to you guys. Playing an AMX 13105, and this guy's going to do a lot of damage. Now, guys, there are other spotting positions on this map. You know, it's from the bushes back here, back in the late game that you can spot from. And even down the zero line, going into some of these bushes over here. But I'm giving you the um, high reward bushes, the uh, uh, kind of the techniques you can use to have that monster game every now and then, right? You're not going to have the monster spotting game on this map unless you take the field and you do the fantastic spotting in the field, okay? But this guy's going to approach it a little bit differently. This guy's more interested in doing a lot of damage. But he's also going to get some, uh, some good spotting. And he's going to take a much more aggressive position. Let's see where he goes here. He parks himself here. He carefully knocks down this tree. 
and he takes a careful position here. He's got an EBR that does the spotting, and boom! See these guys that are rushing to that that initial bush that I mentioned? Oh, he almost like almost took him out. You see these two EBRs that immediately rush to the to this? Look at them there, the two of them, the two clowns <laughs> that Im immediately run to those two bushes down there. That's the tendency for a lot of players. They've got to get to that spot there to do the spotting, right? Boom! And th that's a good spotting, but it's not a high percentage initial position. The, the initial position that we saw from the, in that first game, the guy went to this bush right here. He spots that EBR, okay? And his teammates hopefully kill him. And then once... Once the clowns that go to this initial position, just like position there, once they're dead, then you can take that position. So the high percentage, uh, the high percentage play is not to go to that, that position where his EBR is this close to dying and the enemy EBR died already, okay? And I wanted to show you that because it, it, it illustrates that going to that, it's very dangerous to take that position right away. The only time it works is when the enemy, uh, your counterpart on the enemy team, doesn't go there. And then, yeah, it might work, but you you still might get spotted by a guy that just takes that bush that uh, that we saw in the first game. So now this guy is doing some spotting from here. These Muppets on the enemy team that are driving in the open, which I would not recommend. And you see, this guy's interested in doing the damage. And the EBR is dead. Ding dong, the two guys are dead that went to that first position. And that, uh, that kind of illustrates my point. Taking that first position is very dangerous. Uh, this position down here at E1. That's why that initial bush we saw in the first game is so beautiful. Because you get to spot the guy that's going to E1 or F1. And hopefully your team can take him out. Then you're... Then you're free to go, right? If you take that, if a couple of light tanks go down to this position, you know, E1, F1, and you counter them by going to that first initial bush we saw in the first game, your teammates kill those, you know, kill the guy that goes down there. Then you're, you're golden. Then you got empty space in front of you and you got room to maneuver and you can take that position and do what we saw in the first game. This guy's managed 2,000 spotting assist just from going to his position. But now let's just enjoy it. The learning is over. Now we're just going to have fun and see a light tank actually rack up damage. This guy's more interested in doing damage than actually doing spotting assist. And rightly so. He's a tier 10. There's tier 9s. He's got the big gun you know, that can shoot three times. That can just do a, a lot of burst damage. And he's going to take this guy up both. And he's going to have one more shot that he's going to take on this. Boom. This guy's just... See, when you have a tank that does a lot of damage like this, maybe it's a waste to, to use it for spotting. And he just let the EBR on his team do the aggressive, in my opinion, dumb uh, spotting position. And, he, you know, that EBR got a little bit of spotting assist to kill the other EBR. And then they're both dead. And now this guy gets to play just uh, like an auto loader that has a lot of burst damage. And he can surprise people and do some damage. He's got 3,500 damage. Get out of the way. Light tank coming through. Where's he going to go? Oh, he's got, the, he's got the Fosh again. That's a very skinny shot. Is he going to go after those guys? Let's just watch what he does here. This guy's just interested in doing damage. So he's taking just careful shots at people that are... Making mistakes. <laughs> this is not an overwhelming victory, right? It's 7 6. Neither team has won the field. Imagine if he would have taken that position now at E1. He would have been the guy uh, detecting all those guys in the field. Would his teammates be good enough? To, uh, to kill them. There's three enemies in the field, right? So if he had somehow managed to get down here to this bush now, would he have been racking up three, four, five thousand spotting assists? I'm not sure. But now, look, that guy's gone there and uh, danger, danger. He's spotted. 
He doesn't know where he spotted from, but he's detected. The 121B. One, 121B one one, one is thinking, who's detecting him? And he's got a dead teammate that's protecting him. No artillery that's going to pound that 121B. One, one, so now Mr. Light Tank decides to switch it up. He's uh, He likes this central position, is what he likes. Where is he going to go? <clears throat> he decides to go to the field. Don't flip yourself. Is he going to go fight that 1-2-1-B? Two, one, now there's... There's an object. There's a lot of guys in the field. Man, you need to do a little bit more damage there, buddy. He's getting out of uh, detection range so that he can go stealth. And I think he's going to try and get down there. He's going to try and he's taking the, the long way, right? He's coming around, so now he's going to try and get there. This Charfatur is behind the pillbox. He's slowly moving up there. Oh, and he's spotted. That 121B is in those bushes, and someone shot him. Oh, 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 no, there he is. What was that? Boom! Manticore! Manticore detected! <laughs> Now the Manticore detected him and foolishly, <laughs> foolishly the Manticore fired his gun. <laughs> and down goes the Manticore in just like a second. That Manticore is completely ineffective the whole game. See if the, now, if the Manticore had taken that initial position, the mirror image of the one we saw in the first game, if the Manticore would have went to that that special bush I showed you, he would have detected this AMX uh, uh, 105 on his way to the middle part of the map. This guy would have been detected right at the beginning of the game. We don't know where the Manticore went on the enemy team, but if he would have went to that bush right there, he would have detected this AMX coming down this way. So the game might have been a lot different. Yeah, so there's always that... Uh, where does the enemy light tank go? Didn't even take notice of the Manticore. We're just looking at the EBR. And I don't think that uh, enemy Manticore made a high percentage or an impactful play, I don't think. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section, guys. This guy's going to have a fantastic uh, damage game. We'll see how much he does. But if you're enjoying these um, initial spotting positions, I call them the initial OP spotting positions and... Just the you know, high percentage spots that you can go to have that monster spotting assist game. And let me know in the comment section. And we will continue doing different maps. This guy's playing very, uh, very safely, very smartly. Moving around, trying to always stay safe. But now he's going to... This IS-7 wants help. And he's got the auto loader. So he can even afford to bounce a shot, but he's not going to bounce. And now he's got just a Lyon and a Char Futur. Last known positions in the base. So you should start heading that way, buddy. Go for the reload. Here he goes. Sort of the similar strategy um, as the first game. They ended up winning the field here and they're wrapping around. Those poor enemies. They've got four kills and they're obviously sitting in there somewhere in the bushes waiting to farm a little bit more damage. Let's see if he can find them. This guy's done 3,450 spotting assists, but more importantly, 4,649 damage. He's, he's gone for damage. Where are those last two remaining enemies? Are they in the little dip here in the bushes? This is kind of a popular spot to wait the end of the game, or have they moved? Where are they? You can run, but you can't hack. Maybe they went to their side of the map. His team is capping. Where have all the enemies gone? I think they've gone back. So the Grille is saying, I'll cap. There's four minutes left. They got lots of time. And he's going to go find them. How would you like to have two pussy teammates like these two on your team? Four kills and they're not even in the game anymore. Oh, and he took a shot on the move, which was a mistake. Boom. That's not a mistake. And that's not a mistake. 
Where is he going? Why is he going back? They're probably the other way. Over here. He's probably over here somewhere. He's by your base. Oh, oh, there he is. Who spotted him? I guess the VZ spotted him. The running lion. 5,360. Let's see how many of these three shots he makes count. There's the lion. Don't take him on the move. Just go fight the lion. Just go clip him. This guy's been much too tentative for my liking. The lion can only pump maybe two shots into you, and you get three, and then the game's over. You're just being too careful. Too careful, my friend. Just go. Wow. Talk about taking the long way home, and he, he misses anyway. Screen not penetrated. There you go. Serves you right. <laughs> Screen up his ass. So another game, I think it uh, helped illustrate the point on that first position, but this guy ends up with over 6,000 damage. He still gets almost 4,000 spotting assist. Let me know if you uh, appreciate these videos, guys. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow and suggest the next map you want to see. Maybe we'll keep doing these, okay? I'll catch you guys on the next one.